Letterform Archive is a collection of artifacts in the history of graphic design with a special interest in Letterform. The archive is unique in the focus that we have on graphic design. Letterform Archive is a nonprofit for inspiration, education, and community. We are open to all who love letters. Because we're really focused on graphic design, typography, lettering, that means that we can show people things that would often be kind of hidden in other institutions. We have saved a number of collections from the dumpster. My favorite thing in the archive is this rooster by Fortunato de Perro. This Lee Conklin handbill for the Fillmore. Kids book by Saul Bass. Prints by Carita Kent. A letterpress print by Amos Kennedy. A collection of poetry by Mayakovsky designed by Ella Sitsky. The Black Panther by Emery Douglas. I love the collection of posters by Jason Munn. Medieval manuscripts, super rad. Letterform Archive has become the preeminent institution of typography, and I wanted to donate some of my very best work to help support the collection. Publishing is an early ambition of the archive. Books about historical figures, books about living designers with fabulous careers. We also have a unique capability in our photographic studio, which leads to some of the best reproduction being done in books of this kind. Letter from Archive to me is kind of like a live museum. It's like being a kid in a candy store. We see visitors from companies who want to bring their designers to be inspired, visits from student groups, classes, from arts programs all over the Bay Area. The events at Letter from Archive are very unique in the design events around San Francisco. They're historical, researched in depth, I am in the stacks at the Letterform Archive, uh, surrounded by everything a graphic design nerd or like a type nerd could ever imagine. The Letterform Archive is in a card catalog system, not a machine. It's a human who smiles at you, is amazed with you. That's much better than relying on the Dewey Decimal System. When it comes to setting what the archive calls a table, it's almost like putting together a puzzle. They might remove something maybe that's this big and then we replace it with something else. They're like, now it's good. They want it to be the best that it can be. We've built a staff that is basically about a dozen of the nerdiest type nerds you will find. What was really helpful was not only that everything was out, but also the fact that like, if I had any questions about anything, there was a librarian right there. We're building an online archive to serve a worldwide audience. It will allow a visitor to our website to access extraordinary high-resolution images. A serendipitous browse through images and metadata that bring you surprises and inspirations. The searching and filtering, especially, is set up with graphic designers in mind. You're into design? Me too! Let's nerd out together! Yeah, cool, cool, cool! Like, let's connect! It becomes a community of curiosity, a community of questioning, and everyone is kind of learning in the space together. TypeWest at Letterform Archive is a program mostly for people with jobs. It's a type design class one night, and then a type history class the next night and then eventually design their own typefaces. You know, when I came into this program, I thought I knew a lot about type, and it was just the tip of the iceberg. And I was like, oh, now I know how much I don't know. <laughs> One of the most educational features of the collection is the process material that we have here. By studying the paste steps, sketches and progressive proofs, students and other visitors can really understand how graphic design happens. The first time I came to Letterform Archive was in this room, and my mind was definitely blown. You almost can't come just once. You could spend a month here and not be done. There is not a fee that you have to pay to get in to just look at stuff and learn from it. Our mission is very simple. It's to inspire designers, and by extension, the designer and everybody.